I know you think the left tackle for the University of Oregon, Panay Sewell, might be the best tackle in the country. Well, I think that by position, he might be the best football player in all of college football. And that's the left tackle, Mr. Sewell. Rare to see a guy that big that can move the way Penny Sewell can. I mean, it really is. It's, it's one of those where you see him on film and you go, wait, is he really that big? I don't know if that's it. He's, is he really moving like that? And he's 326 or 325. You know, that's the first thing that you just jump, jumps out to you. And now back off on the tempo. Gets out quickly, red again in space, and they will. Injury. Missed the first four games. Quick. Out wide, Jalen Red. Watch Panay Sewell, number 58, get out in front of Jalen Red and get the key block right there. And that's a 350 pound clean guy that weighs 330 that's got feet like a tight end and it's just damage. That is a man. You want a better quarterback? Get Pene Sewell. He'll make your bad quarterback okay. He'll make your okay quarterback good. He'll make your good quarterback great. That is who you want. Quick throw, Dan, to go. Dom, just look. This is awesome. The showcase matchup tonight. Oregon O-line, Auburn D-line on fourth down. For Dow, Evers in. And the Ducks score. These Ducks fans are on over. I'm coming to games here, dreaming of one day playing for the Ducks. And that's the left tackle, Mr. Sewell. Back-to-back -back run plays, and Verdell powers ahead. Seriously, do yourself a favor, and I know it is hard watching a football game because you're just trained to always watch the ball, but just do your best at times to watch number 58 right there. When Mario Cristobal says he's the best he's ever coached, or very well has the chance to be, that guy's coached a lot of pros. To the short side. Run behind that big left tackle, Panay Sewell, who shows you it's not just about being downhill. Look at the athleticism at 330 pounds. He's out blocking a linebacker once again into the end zone. It is quick movements. It is violent. It's attacking. It is, uh, from all that stuff, it is it's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, on screen plays, getting to the second level. Even the inexperience of that position. C.J. Verdell is the back. They get the ball out quickly to Jalen Red, and Red darts for But if NFL scouts forgot how dominant he was at Oregon, they just need to go back and look at the film. Just go put, to put on the tape. Nobody can do what I do in this draft, in the in the offensive tackle rooms. So uh, I bring something totally different to the table. as if they're going to attack. Micah Pittman, first down. He's six foot five, 325 pounds, and a combination of just brute strength and athleticism. He has the strength of an offensive lineman, but he has the feet of a tight end. Very athletic kid, gets out in space, just demolishes people. We talked about the quarterbacks having some wild plays. There's four or five plays a game, whether it's a pass block or a run block, well, Panay Sewell makes you go wow as well. He is also a guy that in a couple years will be a number one pick in the NFL draft. Yeah, yeah, I'm up at
Brooklyn, now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to De Niro, but I'll be hood forever, I'm the new Sinatra, and since I made it here, I can make it anywhere, yeah they love me everywhere, I used to cop in Harlem, all of my Dominicanos right there up on Broadway, brought me back to that McDonald's, took it to my stash spot, 560 State Street, catch me in the kitchen like a Simmons whipping pastry, cruising down 8th Street, off white Lexus, driving so slow, but BK is from Texas, me I'm up the bed star, home of that boy Biggie, now I live on Billboard, and I brought my boys with me, say what up to Tata, still sipping my tie, sitting courtside, Nicks and Nets, give me high fives, nigga I be spiked out, I can trip a referee, tell by my attitude that I'm most definitely from Pickle number 5'8", and when we talk about quarterbacks and instincts and feel, we don't talk about that nearly enough with offensive linemen. And Mario really feels like that's what separates Panay more than anything else, even more than his physical ability. But it's that 19-year-old's instincts, his ability to turn down blockers, his ability to see the second and third level, and then just the very rare athleticism to do damage with what he's seen.